All right, all right, all right. How you doing? It is the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter at Radio Guy. Instagram is Radio Guy 22. Don't forget the website is obnradio.com. If you're anywhere throughout the country, you can listen to 24-hour programming by dialing 605 605- 477-5066 That's 605-477-5066 Listen anywhere throughout the country And you'll never miss what's going on Here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network Got a lot in store for you on today Spring football is getting started In fact, has already taken off Coach Eric Dooley and the Panthers Getting things together I believe the Purple and Gold game will be April 21st, if I'm not mistaken. Either the 21st or 25th, we'll find out and get that taken care of here real soon. Be checking things out on the field. But we got a lot going on, a huge, huge weekend for Prairie View Athletics. Uh, this weekend, you'll have the PV Golf Classic uh, down in Cyprus. Well, in fact, we'll be doing a live show from there on Friday morning, beginning at 7 a.m. So get your early bird worms and join us down in Cyprus for a live show. We'll be talking, got some special guests planned to be in the place with us, so we won't let that go too soon. And just a big, big weekend in store. We have softball, uh, Prairie View will be hosting Alabama State in the uh, softball area. In baseball, Prairie View will be hosting Southern University. The PV relays are back in town. So it's going to be a whole lot. Over 60 high schools and colleges will be on the campus at Prairie View. A whole lot to get knocked out in a huge, huge weekend. You can get your one-day, two-day passes and see what's going on in the world of PV Nation as things unveil. And speaking of unveiling, rough weekend for baseball. Softball uh, went to Alabama A&M, was able to take two out of three after losing the first game, came back with a thundering roar to defeat Alabama Lady Bulldogs 11 to uh, 1. No, I'm sorry, 12 to 1 and 11 to 0. 23 runs in two games that the Lady Panthers take care of that. But on the other hand, baseball had a rough time against Texas Southern. Losing all three games, got swept 4 2, 4 1, then losing the last game 10 0. But more importantly, it was a shutout, no hitter shutout. It only went seven innings because of 10 run rule. However, the Panthers had 21 batters to come to the plate, and only eight of them put the ball in play. 13 strikeouts. And so things are a little rough out of the gate for Coach Riggins and the Panthers, but they have a huge, huge series this weekend against Southern University to try and get things back on course to see how they can rebound. And speaking of rebounding, uh, we know that Texas Southern uh, lost to Xavier and Xavier ended up getting beat. Uh, But what a run for Texas Southern uh, men's basketball team led by Coach Mike Davis as the Panthers will go back and regroup. I've been speaking with people on and off the record about how the SWAC could uh, reconstruct their basketball tournament uh, to make it more viable, to make it a little bit um, productive financially for everyone, and hopefully uh, things can start being reconstructed. Of course, the the SWAC is in need of a new commissioner to replace Dewar Sharp. And uh, when you look at the things as the residue has been left behind, there was a need for Mr. Dewar to vacate that actual position. And hopefully there's enough left that you can salvage this conference back to where it can be viable and respectable. Um, A lot of damage has been done, but it could be reconstructed and I really believe that a key driving force into 
making sure that it does stay on course, get back on course and maintain its faith forward is going to be a lot to do with Prairie View's involvement. And I'm not saying that because I am a PV alumnus. I'm saying that because Prairie View is the mother school of this conference. It is the original, the only original school in this conference that was there from the beginning. All others have come, but in 1920, it all started with Prairie View, Wiley College, um, Bishop College, Houston Tillerson, which was known as Sam Houston at the time, um, Paul Quinn, and of course you have Prairie View. All other schools are on the NAIA level. So Prairie View is the last man standing. And with that, and maybe this is just me talking, Prince talking, no one else, and I'm not throwing this toward anyone. I think we have a special added responsibility that we ensure that this thing get back on course. And whatever it's going to take, how it's going to take, then um, we need to, to rally the troops together for this last stand, if you would, not Custer's stand, because we know how that stood turn, turned out. But if we can make this, this last stand and, and, and push this thing one more again to make sure that everything comes out and do what needs to be done. Um, I really believe in the tradition. When you look at the tradition that the SWAC has produced on the NFL level, more importantly, with your Hall of Famers, we're not just talking about one or two players that have come through this conference to go to the Hall of Fame. We have a number of Hall of Famers that have come through the Southwestern Athletic Conference. And I think we need to do everything that we can to help preserve that. Not saying that it's not being done, but know and understand that whatever we can do, let us be busy at doing it. And I was sitting back and I was reminiscing over my old playing days at Prairie View and an old saying that came to mind. And I've, I've tweeted it a couple of times. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Radio Guy. And it, it just simply says, all for one, one for all. All for Prairie View. Prairie View for all. What you gonna do? Fight like hell to win. What you gonna do? Fight like hell to win. Not only am I saying that for Prairie View AM University, I'm saying that for the Southwestern Athletic Conference. I'm even saying that for the Mid Eastern Athletic Conference. Let us continue to fight like hell to win. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Remember, you can join us live on Friday from Cypress, Texas, this coming Friday. We'll go live starting at 7 a.m. And we'll be there at least an hour or two. Uh, Got some special, special guests planned to be on board with us. And we'll be talking and then we'll come back and uh, do some softball coverage and give you some baseball reporting updates and, of course, the PV relays. And don't forget, it all starts this coming Friday. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Radio Guy. Instagram is Radio Guy 22. The website is obnradio.com. Until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.